My friends, we have received a huge, and I mean massive, storyline update that could very easily help to dictate what this season's live event is going to be, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It actually gives us so much information, and I just cannot wait. So if you're new, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Make sure you have those notifications turned on and you smash that bell to make sure you never miss out on future content. Also, if you're listening to the video and watching right now, I need you to go in the comments and type the word beans. That's it. Just beans. Let's see how many people we can get to type the word beans in the comment section. Lastly, before we dive into everything, make sure you're following me over on caffeine.tv slash Dr. Pineapples. That is my live stream where I stream four times a week, giving away tons of stuff to you guys, doing mini games, gift customs, everything for a gift. So definitely go and follow me in the description down below. I will be live tomorrow at 5 5 p.m. Eastern. So recently in the item shop, we've gotten the new Dio skin. I don't believe it's in the shop anymore, but it was in the shop for a period of time. And obviously the Dio skin is the same skin that was inside of the ancient astronaut spaceship that we had near Craggy Cliffs a few weeks ago and I guess is still there if you haven't completed the challenge. The way that spaceship launched was quite strange. You had to collect the parts for it and then attach it to the spaceship and then defend the spaceship for a certain amount of time before it blasted off back into the sky and created multiple rifts around the area where the spaceship previously was. It reminded me a lot of the visitor's rocket launch, just the very way it happened. Anyway, the spaceship then went into a rift in the sky and disappeared, and we assumed we had seen the last of it. Well, we were wrong. It's come to my attention that if you go to the southern part of the map at this specific location, kind of southwest of Misty Meadows, the spaceship has returned. As a side note, if you go by this spaceship, I'm pretty sure you had to have completed the original challenge, but I'm not sure on that. You get a free 14,000 XP for just discovering the spaceship. The challenge is called Astro Not in OT, and the reason why is because Dio is no longer in the spaceship. The spaceship is open the capsule is open and there is no one inside as there previously was when we originally found this spaceship near craggy cliffs i don't know whether or not you guys realize this but this is absolutely massive for the season three and probably even season four storyline since the capsule is open and the whole spaceship is activated and floating and the lights are on inside you have to assume that Dio, for whatever reason, came back to the map because if you recall, he left via a rift in the sky. So he and his spaceship came back to the map and we now know that he is somewhere on the map doing something because he has managed to escape from the spaceship. If you go back to season seven, this whole situation reminds me so much of the prisoner that the Ice King was keeping captive in the Polar Peak Castle. If you were around back in season seven, you'll know what I'm talking about. The prisoner was frozen in a block of ice, which gradually went down and melted over the course of season seven until the character escaped. Now, this season, we didn't have the exact same thing that happened, but it was kind of similar. We found out about the spaceship when it was still under water and then when it finally surfaced up we were able to launch that spaceship back up into the sky assumingly sending it back to where it came from but Dio came back so what was the whole purpose of that maybe it's possible that we were trying to send him away and get him out because he was a threat to the island in some way but he figured out how to get back escaped from the pod this time and is now here to wreak havoc in some way on the island maybe his mission is to try to find siona because of course we know siona and dio are tied together but one loophole in this theory is this loading screen that fortnite actually showed us on twitter and inside of the game itself it shows siona and dio just kind of chilling together on the spaceship so i don't really know what to think is Dio a threat? Is Dio a bad guy? Nobody really knows what his intentions are, but one thing is for certain, he's back, he's here, he's on the map, and he's up to something. As it currently stands, and as I'm sure you guys know, the current Fortnite season is slated to end on August 27th, which means 
We have only nine days, just a little over a week until the new season drops and this season ends, and we gotta get the live event soon. I'm pretty sure Dio and this astronaut resurfacing back on the map after we launched it away is the first signal and the first hint for the live event, and now, more so than ever, I'm pretty sure Siona and Dio, as I've said for a long time about Siona, are going to be a part of this live event, and Dio has something up his sleeve that nobody wants to talk about or nobody really knows. And Epic Games has done a good job this season of keeping everything under wraps, because usually by this time we have some sort of leak about the event and what we are going to expect, but this time it's pretty much non-existent i mean we got a couple leaks about some sort of high tower thing uh and a couple runes and a new poi called craters that stuff has been leaked but outside of that we really don't know what's going on but it should be happening soon i expect any day now for us to get more concrete leaks that are going to officially kind of give us more of a hint as to what we can expect again i said this in my video yesterday but events usually happen on saturdays at 2 p.m near the end of the season now the only saturday left in this season if they continue with the season as planned is going to be this upcoming saturday the 22nd of august August. That kind of seems soon. I mean, that's in like five days, and I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe they do an event on a different day. I really don't know what they have up their sleeve. Maybe we don't even get an event at all. That's possible. I would doubt it considering how much people love those events, and we've had an event all seasons but one since season four of chapter one. So I would probably expect it. Uh, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't get it, but. It is an interesting thing and something to bear in mind. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think Dio is up to and what you think the live event is going to entail because at this point, no one knows, man. And that's the awesome part about Fortnite because they keep us on our toes and they truly surprise us. I mean, take last season's event, for example, the device. People knew there was going to be a device and people knew that Midas was going to try and control the storm and people knew that the map was ultimately going to flood, but nobody knew how it was going to happen and nobody expected there to be some secret room we went to where we were hearing people talk and Agent Jonesy and all this stuff. So, I mean, even if we do get leaks telling us kind of what's going to happen in a general sense, there's always going to be a lot of twists and turns in there that will keep us on our toes and keep us guessing. So I'm looking forward very much to seeing what's going to happen. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like and leave your theories in the comment section to have a chance to be featured in one of my upcoming videos. Thank you all so much for your continued support. As a quick reminder, tomorrow on my caffeine stream, anyone who types the hashtag Dr. P. Summer into the stream chat will be entered into a raffle for a $100 V-Buck card. I've given away several so far this month in addition to all of my normal gifts, so if you want a chance to win a free $100 V-Bucks card, go into my stream tomorrow on Caffeine via the link below, and simply type in the chat hashtag Dr. P. Summer, and we will spin that raffle winner away on the 22nd of August on a Saturday, which coincidentally enough, is the last Saturday of the season, so if there is a live event, you can count on me to be live, but regardless of whenever that event might be, I'm going to be streaming it on Caffeine, so definitely make sure you're following me over there to stay tuned for any future updates. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you in my next upload.